The playoffs are expanding in 2023. We're going to talk about that today here on Midwest Sportsnet. The NAIA announced in the spring that the field that was 16 teams has now been expanded to 20. Four more playoff teams will have the opportunity to hunt for the red banner and try to bring it home to its campus. Let's take a look at some information from the NAIA again released this spring. It will take effect for 2023. Number one, there will be up to 13 automatic qualifiers with a minimum of seven at-large teams. Now, last year, there were 12 automatic qualifiers, 10 team, 10 conferences in the NAI that are football conferences. Of course, there are the independents as well, but 10 conferences and two, like the Heart of America and the Mid-States Football Association that have two separate divisions. The Heart has the North and the South and the Midwest and the Mideast in the Mid-States Football Association. So 12 automatic bids were awarded last year for at-large teams. Now, the NAI is giving itself a little bit of room for possibly another conference, to make room for things to happen there with at at automatic up to 13 automatic qualifiers and that would leave room for seven at large bids if there are only 12 automatic qualifiers like there likely and should be this season then there wouldn't be room for eight at large bids and be on the lookout too because the north star has lost a couple of schools iowa wesleyan and presentation both have discontinued their football programs and actually the athletic department and the university as a whole. And so that uh, the North Star needs to be on the lookout. There was an amendment made to the NAI regulations in 2022. There is a grace period now for the North Star, which has five teams, a grace period for the next couple of years to see if it can move back to having six teams. But there would be up to 13 automatic qualifiers again next year, likely 12 with eight at-large bids. Let's look at number two. Conference champions will get an automatic bid regardless of rating or record. That should read ranking or record as it is a top 25 ranking. This is good for the conference champions because each conference champion now will get in Regardless of being in the top 20, that was a stipulation before that a conference champion not only had to win its conference, but had to be in the top 20 in the final top 25 coaches poll ranking. And so this makes it a little bit easier for the conference champions there. It's good. Now, number three, we go back a little bit. Teams must be rated that should read ranked in the top 25 of the final coaches poll to be considered for an at-large selection. And this is where it gets a little bit dicey maybe for a couple of teams that have a good record, but because it is a coach's poll, they may not make it into the top 25. And so all at-large teams will have to be in the top 25. So the teams need to make sure that they get in that top 25 ranking as well to get that at-large bid. Again, for the most part, it shouldn't be a problem, but that, that stipulation is in there as well, and it needs to be remembered and recalled number four seeds 13 through 20 will play in the first round with seeds one through 12 getting a buy and so if you want to get that extra weekend to have time to rest and relax and to recover and get a little bit more time to prepare for your first opponent you need to get in that top 12 seeds there uh, i likely many of them would be conference champions but not not always and it's nothing to count on so you definitely want to have a good record if you are a team wanting to get into that top 12 seeds and of course then you see the schedule saturday november 18th the first round that's for those first four games seeds 13 through 20 and then after that the second round quarterfinals starting in december semifinals december 9th and then also it's not going to be a two-week gap between the semifinals and the championship game this year just a nine-day gap as the championship game will be held on a Monday night, and that's at Durham County Memorial Stadium in Durham, North Carolina. So that is a look at the uh, at the playoff picture or what the, the skeleton of the playoff picture will be as there is playoff expansion in the NAI, and it's going to take place in 2023. We have a lot more coverage of the college football season for 2023 nai small college and more keep it right here on midwest sports net i encourage you please subscribe to the channel where we talk about small college sports and more throughout the midwest and beyond thanks for watching god bless you